Hi, I'm Bill Farmer from EAC, um, here to talk about product development. Here at EAC, we see product development as a system. This stands in counterpoint to the traditional Western way of looking at product development as a process. In fact, when we promote product development as a system, uh, and that thinking is being more important than looking at it as a process, uh, we often get uh, head scratching in return. Western traditional management likes to take work and break it down into small pieces and then delegate these as tasks. They reduce work into a set of repeatable steps and, and in some places, some parts of the business, that's wonderful. Think of manufacturing. Process, any area where the, the process is transactional and non-variable, process thinking is actually a, a terrifically beneficial. We can take these repeatable steps and proceduralize them so that we know if we follow these steps exactly, we're going to get consistent output results. Think again of the manufacturing line. You can think of something really mundane. Think of washing the dishes. You clear the table, you, you scrape the scraps from the, the plates into the wastebasket, you rinse the plates to remove some surface dirt and to see if anything is caked on or baked on. You load the dishwasher, you push the button, and you come back later, open it up, and you get your um, desirable, repeatable results of clean dishes. This mental model, this uh, product development as a process, when we, when we move process thinking to product development, at first it was advantageous, it was okay. We brought in patterns of behavior. We broke product development down at the milestone phase and it was advantageous to give guidance to project managers to trek through these milestone phases. But as issues arose, additional management responsibilities and details were added to the process and the, the focus of product development, uh, project management shifted from the creation of market-based value to a set of an administrative checklist checking the boxes of, of step by steps uh, that, you, that you've actually accomplished in your product development process. The way we now implement stage gate process in product development is almost impossible to have a successful project. The, the, the antidote to that is to start uh, applying systems thinking. Systems thinking is based upon not a collection of elements in a system, but the interaction of the elements in the system, the dynamic. We see uh, people, uh, processes, teams, technology, tools as all elements in the product development system and the operational dynamic between these elements is what determines the quality of your workflow, your information flow, and if you've embraced it, your continuous improvement operation inside of product development. If your product development environment is characterized by conflict and hostility, you are probably locked into um, a restrictive, constrictive process thinking approach to product development. Shift your thinking from that linear process thinking, task complete, task complete, to closed loop thinking, the closed loop thinking of systems thinking, where you have feedback loops and mutual cause and effect of the elements inside of your operation. Process thinking was a meaningful advance in the 20th century. Um, it brought improvement to product development, um, but it's time to move on, to move on to systems thinking. Uh, as you um, take that washing machine and redesign it, don't do it with process thinking, do it with systems thinking. We're 15% of the way through the 21st century. It's time you joined the 21st century revolution in systems thinking. Again, that's what I have for today. Thanks very much. I'm Bill Farmer from EAC.